So, you want to be that person that wakes up in the morning, goes to the gym, stretches, and is always productive, and just living their best life. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you. That person doesn't exist. We aren't perfect, but I am here to help you build daily habits that will change your life. Cheers, guys. Every time, every time, black coffee is just, it's just it, it is just it. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jose, and I'm guessing you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to create good daily habits that will stick. Well, you're in the right place, baby. We're gonna be getting into all the details on how to create daily habits that will stick, and I'm gonna give you guys some of my tips and things that have helped me out during this whole process. So before we get started, please make sure you guys are subscribed and you guys have your post notification bell on. And I also wanna say thank you guys for 10K. This is crazy. I never even thought I would be here at 10K. So I wanna say a huge thank you to all of you guys that have been supporting me. Even the ones that are new here, welcome. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you all are a part of this channel. I'm so grateful that you guys are all here. So let's go ahead and get into how to create daily habits. Before I get started, I want to give you guys a definition of habits. A habit is a settled or regular tendency or practice especially one that is hard to give up. So think about some habits that you have in your life right now that you do without even thinking about it. You just do it on the daily. You can even have a habit that you form that you don't even recognize and maybe other people do as well. So bringing it all the way back, habits really shape your life. And habits can shape your life in a good way or a bad way. So I need you guys to sit here and think really quick Think about what good habits have shaped your life or even bad habits that shaped your life. We all have good and bad habits that we form without even realizing it. My goal is for this video is to, to really recognize your bad habits so that you can throw those out the door, out the window, and to create good habits that will help you shape your life into what you want it to be. It took me a while to form good habits that would stick and I would actually do daily. This is something that really takes patience because you cannot create a habit and think it's gonna stick right away. Like it just doesn't happen that way. And I think we have to really remember that, that everything that we do, th things just take time. It's just not gonna happen overnight. There's a book that I read like about a few years ago called Habit Stacking. And this book really changed my life because I really was looking for something to help me to create better habits and to create habits that would stick that I could actually do without thinking about it and forcing myself and it just flowed with my life, you know? This process involves grouping together small activities into a routine which you link to a habit already set in your day. This makes the routine memorable and anchors your new habits to an existing trigger. But with the habit stacking, what I realized is, okay, let me figure out something that I do on a daily, which is making coffee. You guys know this is a step that I never, <laughs> I never miss. I never miss making my coffee in the morning. If I do that every day without even thought, what could I add to that to make me actually create a new habit? So what I started doing was there was a time where I was not journaling consistently and I realized that I would miss a day, miss two days. And that was something that I really wanted to do. I wanted to create the habit of journaling every morning. I had the habit of reading my Bible and everything like that, but journaling was so hard for me to stick to. So with habit stacking, if I'm already making coffee in the morning, why not make my coffee and drink my coffee while I'm doing my journaling? Smart, huh? That's what I started doing. And literally every time I know now that when I make my coffee, I go and journal. So it's just like, it clicks, you know, it creates a routine. So now I make my coffee, I journal. It just makes the habit more enjoyable. And now I don't have to overthink it. It's just, that's what I know I do. And I love drinking my coffee while journaling. It's just a vibe. So that's what I call habit stacking. Using an existing habit with a new habit. But I think the main, the main thing is, knowing why you wanna create this habit. So I think sometimes we wanna create habits because we've maybe seen someone do it, or you know, this just like what people are doing right now on TikTok, and everyone's like having these like cool routines and these habits of 
stretching and reading and making their green tea and this and that. Not saying everyone is doing that. I'm just like giving an example. I think the main thing is really figuring out why you wanna do this habit. When you're trying to create a habit because someone else is doing it, it's gonna be a lot harder for that habit to stick because it's something that you don't really actually enjoy. All the habits that we want to create in our lives, they need to benefit us. They just shouldn't be just a habit, just a random habit. Like it should be a habit that's going to help you grow. The main thing for these habits is starting simple. You wanna start simple, you guys. You don't wanna overdo it. Don't try to add on all these habits at once, like drink a cup of water in the morning, make coffee, journal, do my Bible lesson, work out. Like, you gotta start simple. Don't ever overdo it, because when you try to overdo it, you're not gonna stick to it, and one of those habits are gonna fall off. So just start with habits that you can stick to. So maybe start off with one habit, and then you can start building on top of that. Just remember, you can't change your life in one day, guys. It's, li it's literally impossible. <laughs> and that this is, this is really all a process and you have to enjoy the process. So don't feel bad if you are only doing one habit for the month. That's great. Like, at least you're sticking to that one habit and you've been sticking to it. Another thing is that can help you out to stick into your, to your daily habits is setting reminders. I know that sometimes like, we can either forget or we have so much stuff going on in our day and we just cannot remember. So if you feel like you're that kind of person and you just your memory is just not there, well then maybe you should start setting reminders on your phone so that you don't forget. And this is another way that can help you stick to your habits as well, is setting reminders so that you don't forget to do that habit. And don't feel bad that you have to set reminders to do something because eventually you will wing yourself off of setting reminders because it's gonna become a habit and you're not gonna have to use a reminder anymore. Don't expect all of your attempts to change habits to be successful immediately. So before we end this video, I want you to write down your good habits and your bad habits. And that can be literally anything. It doesn't have to necessarily be with productivity. It can be anything like, okay, I bite my nails or I tend to eat really late at night. Like that's a bad habit. Like, especially if you're gonna go to sleep right after you eat, you know, it's like write down your good habits that you have and your bad habits and see which habits you have more of. When you start to realize how many bad habits that you have, this will really give you the motivation to cut out all those bad habits and start replacing them with good habits. I would even write down your goals for your habits. Like for instance, if you know, okay, these are all my, these are all my habits and I want to cut out one of, bad, one of my bad habits with a good habit. You can even say, this is my goal. I wanna be able to make, cut this habit out and make a better habit by the end of February. And you can keep yourself accountable with that habit. And then you can track your progress and see how you're doing with your, your new habit and if you are still hanging on to the bad habit or not. So I would just suggest you guys just really do some self-evaluation and really see where your habits are and what's helping you and what's not helping you. What are the good habits that you want to take into this year? So I hope that this video was helpful in some kind of way just to break down what habits mean and how you can create habits that will stick. Remember, it's a process, you guys, and start simple. Do not overdo it. But no, I really hope that this was helpful. And please let me know down in the comments if you guys have any other questions. I will be glad to answer any questions you guys have in the comments below. Let me know. Please make sure you guys are subscribed and you guys give this video a thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram, you guys. Everything will be linked in the description below, all of my social media handles. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend